This is fingertips balloony boogie. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show with everything you could ever want to make or do. Right at your fingertips. I'm Stephen. I'm Fern. And here's what's on today's show. Find out if just one piece of paper can become a hopping frog in our one minute make. And we show you how to make what all the stars are wearing. Friendship bracelets. And in party fingertips, we show you how to make a pinata for a smashing good party. And for all the fingertip details, you can video the show and play it back. Look on the website or grab your pen and paper and jot it down straight away. Now, if you're going to be videoing fingertips each week, then you'll end up with a pile of tapes that look something like this. And to keep all of your tapes in order, just simply label them like this. And if you want your very own fingertip labels like our ones, then just log on to our website. We'll give you the address at the end of the show and you'll be able to download, print off and stick on. Now, how good does this look? It looks really heavy as well, doesn't it? And it's got this really cool little combination lock thing here that clicks. You've got a secret compartment door there and a slot to put all of your money in. So how would you like your very own top security safe to keep all your savings, your loose change and all those things for your eyes only? Well, now you can with the help of fingertips. You're going to need to get a milk bottle lid like this, a chocolate dispenser and a washing powder box that's this shape. And you also need a tea bag box, which has a flappy lid like this. Now, put the lid on your tea bag box down, and then you want to cut the whole of your box off with the lid down, so you're actually cutting a bit of that off as well. So I'm just going to cut the last bit off, and this will give you a nice square shape. So just cut that off there. And then, once you've got the bottom of your box sorted, you need to bring in your washing up powder box. Now, pop that down, and then put your newly cut box on top of your washing powder box, and just draw around the whole thing like that in the middle of it. And then, when you take it off, you're left with this shape, which will have a border around it of about three to four centimetres. Now, next, you want to get your chocolate dispenser. And listen to this. It makes a really cool noise, like a lock. Hey, listen to that. And now you need to do is get some PVA glue, pop that on the back there, quite a nice big blob, and just put this on your washing powder box with the hole facing to the top but slightly to the left, like that. Then get your milk bottle top and just put some glue around the edge of it, like that. And then just stick this on top of your chocolate dispenser. And when the glue has dried, take a pencil and carefully push it in the middle of the top line that you've already drawn. And this allows you to cut along this line and the two lines down the side. Make sure you don't cut along the bottom because this is going to work as the hinge to your safe. And the way to get the hinge to work smoothly is get a ballpoint pen and just score it along like this. And you're going to cover this, so don't worry if it's messy. And then, when you open it up, will be perfect. Not bad, eh? Then, cut out a rectangle in the top. This is for where your money's going to go. And make it big enough to hold your biggest coin. There we go. But don't make it too big, otherwise people will be able to look inside and see what you've got. Oh. And now it's time to shape your tea bag box to make your secret compartment. Now, what you need to do is draw a diagonal line from one corner to about the middle and do the same on the other side. And then cut this shape out so you get a box that has a higher back than the front. Then you need to paint the sides a black or a dark grey colour like that so it looks like a nice safe colour. Then bring in your washing powder box, open your trap door and just push your tea bag box inside. It should fit nice and snugly like that. And then get some PVA glue and just spread some onto your door like that, right the way over. Then push the two together like this and watch this. There you have your secret compartment door. And now all you have to do is paint your fingertips money box safe. Now, we've gone for silver to give it a metallic look. And we've even added a strip of dark grey around the base to make it look really heavy. And how about a screw in each corner? 
But you know my favourite thing? Go on. A combination lock. That's so clever. What a cool noise it makes. It is so good, isn't it? And it does look so real. And if you want to have a go at making your very own fingertips money box safe and you've recorded today's show, then watch the video back whenever you like. Or you could check out our fingertips website. All you need to do is click on Top Makes and all the details will be there for you. But if you have that pen and paper ready right now, we'll go over it again. Firstly, cut the lid off a tea bag box. On your bigger box, mark the position of the tea bag box. And then stick on your chocolate dispenser. Then stick on the bottle top. Cut a hole in the front of your bigger box and make a slot for the coins in the top. Now make your secret compartment by cutting your tea bag box on a slant. Paint your smaller box and glue it into your safe. Paint your finished safe and you're done. <laughs> So next time you want to stop a sticky fingertips getting valuables, try making a fingertips money box safe. Got a minute? Because this is the part of the programme where we show you how to make something in under a minute using stuff from around your house. Today it's my turn to make. And it's my turn to time. Vern, this is all it takes. How are you going to make something out of a sheet of paper? Just a bit that. of paper. I'm going to show you now. Right then, we're not going to tell you what it is just yet, but see if you can guess along the way. Are you ready, Steve? I have, yeah. I've got a real frog in my throat. Mm -hmm, right I'm then. ready. Three, two, one, go! OK, first thing I need to do is fold it over like a, a sailing boat, just like that. Then what I need to do is make like an arrow shape, just there. Ten seconds! Crease and it that looks up. like nothing at all. <laughs> OK, now I've got an X in the middle, you can see that. Fold that over and then... 18 seconds. So like this. And then what I need to do is turn over again and do the magic move, which is that. The magic move. Oh, yes, oh. very nice. Fold it over, fold this up. 30 seconds, that's half yes. your time gone. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Fold this over as well. Doesn't look like anything at all. I know. Don't <laughs> worry, you're anything. <laughs> now I've got to fold. I'm forgetting my fold, fun. Sorry. Yeah, fold this in fold. as well. It still doesn't look like look. anything. 40 oh. seconds. Taking Please. Your time now, aren't you, Steve? Normally finished by this point. Okay, stop the clock! Oh, 46! <laughs> not bad, eh? Not bad. What is it then? Well, look, if I put this on here like that, and this on here like that, oh. you can you can see it. It's see? A froggy. Yeah, look, and oh, and it jumps. That, it does jump. It's, it's our jumping. very own fingertips hopping frog. Oh. Mm. Do you show me again one more time? Yeah, I will show you again because it, there is a lot of folds here. So first of all, get your sheet of paper and then fold it over like um, a sailing ship. So just imagine that's the sail, and then you're going to make like an arrow. So there we are, you fold that over there. And now when you unfold everything, you've got an X in the middle, you see. Um, fold it over, and you're going to fold the whole paper over to these points. And don't worry if you're not remembering all these folds, because there is a lot. Um, but if you video today's show, of course, you can watch it back uh, later on. And all the information's on our website. We'll give you the address at the end. Pinch the middle of the paper, and that will flatten everything out like that. And now you just neaten everything up. So that goes up there. This one goes up there, and then you fold them in. Again, just to neaten it up. Fold this one in as well. And now you make his feet look. You fold this up here, and that down there, and there is the shape of oh, the frog. That's brilliant. So I'll tell you what, once you've got the know-how, you could make a whole load of them. So go on, go hopping mad, and see if you can beat the clock. Now, are you having trouble trying to get that poster paint to stick to those shiny surfaces? Well, you need the fingertips adhesive additive. No, not glue. Washing up liquid. All you need is just one squirt. Then give it a mix. And painting on your poster paint no longer presents a problem. They're all the rage at the moment. All the pop stars are wearing them, all the film stars are wearing them, even TV presenters are wearing them. What am I talking about? Friendship bracelets, any colour you like, any design you desire. So if you want to be cool at school and make a make for your mates, then all you need to do is get plaiting. That's all it takes. And some coloured thread. Thank you, Stephen. And a safety pin. Why, thank you. Now, the first thing you need to do is get three colours of thread and take about three strands of each colour. Now, tie a knot in the top of your threads and then get a pin and just carefully thread that through there. And then you're ready to pin this to something. Stephen? You what? Oh, sorry. Cushion. Thank you very much. So, pin these to your cushion and then get plaiting. 
Now, if you're not quite sure how to plait, simply alternately pass the left strand over the middle one and then the right strand over the middle one and try to keep the threads nice and tight. Now, keep doing this until you've got it about this long and then tie a nice tight knot in the end and then just take it off your cushion and remove the pin from your knot. And now this is a tricky bit, tie it onto your wrist. You may need to get it to help you out, it's a bit hard. Fern, allow me, come oh, on. Oh, thank go. you, Steve. You ready? Isn't that sweet? There you go. Thank you very much. No problem. Now, once you've mastered how to do these, you could do all different ones. You could do one with three plaits, you could add some beads as you're plaiting, or even, if you get really clever, try using nine strands of thread. But I'll tell you what, the best thing about making friendship bracelets is that you get to give them to a mate. Come Ooh. on, Stephen. Come on. Come on, then. There you go. How Thanks. about that? Looks That's lovely. Cool. Alicia looks like you've got one friend. <laughs> To party down Mexico way. So next time you're planning some celebrations, chuck out your parcel parcel, get really a jelly and ice cream. Because we've got a fingertips fiesta where no one will see Esther. Yes, yeah, stick with us, we've got some fantastic ideas to make your party go with a swing Latino style. Not now, bad mom. How about planting a prickly cactus? All it is is some paper mache balloons covered in paint, and then you can add a scattering of modelling clay wildlife. How cute are they? And it's always best to look the part. How about a moustache made from a scrap of fake fur that's stuck on with a plaster? Ow. And, and what about this? A Mexican poncho made from a decorated paper tablecloth. Hey, nice touch, Steve. And of course, you need to feed your guests, so how about spicing up the menu with some chilli nachos? Or what about these mouth-watering tortillas? And perhaps you'd fancy a nice dip in some cool guacamole. And check this out, our Mexican sombrero cake decorated with maracas. But if you really want your party to go with a swing Latino style, then you need a piñata, a bat, and a blindfold. Come on in first. OK, I'm ready. There, like that. And off you go. A piñata is a brightly coloured decoration stuffed with sweets and goodies. Now, the idea is to take turns whacking the piñata and whoever breaks it open first gets first pick of the content. To make it harder, someone who isn't playing swings a piñata up and down. And it's probably better to play this outside. So if you want to make yourself a piñata for your fingertips fiesta, we've got the show how... ..to give you the know-how. Now, to make yourself a piñata, you need to, first of all, get yourself a balloon and in quite a bit of time, because it does take a while to make a piñata, you need to cover your balloon in paper mache, cover it in quite a few layers because it needs to be nice and tough so it can withstand quite a lot of whacking. And for the paper mache, you need a mixture of half and half PVA glue and water, loads of strips of newspaper and then just get paste in. Now, before you add your final layer of paper mache, you need to tape a piece of string right the way around your balloon, like that, and then just get some sticky tape and pop it over the top of the string so it stays nice and securely in place like that. And then you can add one final layer of paper mache and then use the string to hang it up to dry. And when it has dried, it's time to decorate it. And have a look at this. So we've covered ours with some cups around the side. And here's how you do that. You put the cup in the middle like that and secure it in place with some sticky tape. A bit this side. And let's do a bit this side as well. And then you cover the whole thing in paper mache. Make sure you cover it in a few sheets because it's got to withstand all that whacking. And now it's time to cut open your piñata so you can stuff it with lots of nice goodies. Now, be careful when you're doing this not to cut your string that you stuck on earlier. Instead, use it as a guide so you can cut your balloon pretty much in half. But do remember to leave a bit at one edge which you don't cut, and this will act as a hinge for when you finally manage to smash your piñata open. Fern, I have the goodies hey. ready for filling. Here we go. We've got some toys. They go inside. They'll be great prizes. And some sweets. And what about some uh, party poppers and blowers? They're always good. And some sweets. And we've also got some confetti too. This will look fantastic when it all falls down. That goes inside as well. Look at that. Um, do you think there's some more room for some more sweets? No, I don't. Um, you've now got to close it back up and seal it with some uh, sticky tape around the edge like that. And then 
go over the rim with one more strip of paper mache to hold it all together. And now it's time to decorate your piñata Mexican style. Now, traditionally, piñatas are very brightly coloured. You can use any type of paint you want at all, but we've used these emulsion tester pots, which come in some really gorgeous bright colours and they're pretty cheap to buy too. Now, you may find the first layer will crack a bit, so just keep smoothing over it and it will look fine uh, eventually. Now, also, as an added touch, you could use these little crepe paper streamers just to add to the end of your cups like that. Look very pretty. So there it is, ready for a smashing good fingertips fiesta. And if you want a reminder of how to make it, then why don't you check out the fingertips website? We'll give you the address at the end of the show. Or if you video today's programme, you can watch it back whenever you want. Better still, just watch this. First thing you need to do is cover a large balloon in layers of paper mache. Then add a length of string all the way round before the final layer. For decoration, stick on some paper cups. Then cut the piñata in half, but remember to leave a hinge at the top. Fill your piñata with lots of goodies, but remember, nothing too heavy. With a thin layer of paper mache, cover your join, then decorate it however you like. And of course, if you've got a bit more time... And a very large balloon... And loads of paper mache... You could make... An enormous one! So make sure your fingertips fiesta goes with a bang! <laughs> Next time on Fingertips, find out how to make the fantastic two-half shark. It'll crash through anywhere. And in Food Fingertips, we'll give you the ABC of how to make Arctic banana chop. And in Physics Fingertips, get ready for blast off with balloon rockets. Well, that's it for today's show. If you want to make anything from today's programme, then just check out the Fingertips website. The address.